there are billions of stars in the sky. So too are there countless worlds, places destroyed by war, built by peace, full of allies, enemies, lovers, and rivals. All of them, all of us, have one thing in common. We come from the stars, and to the stars we return. These are the adventures of the USS Zagreus. people of Earth. My name is Rob Whelan. My pronouns are he, him. I'm an author, game designer, and professional nerd. Tonight, I'm the host of Theater of the Mind Players, your friendly local actual play show. Flaps? <laughs> Sorry, there's a crash there for a second. Oh, <laughs> was it just your seat? Yeah. I just, uh, okay. I was like... It's just Ethan's seat on the I was, I was like, Tawny, make sure he doesn't swallow his tongue. <laughs> like, I mean, I knew what was going on. I mean, I knew what he was doing, but I didn't know why. Did you? Yes? <laughs> Tonight, we are playing Star Trek Adventures from uh, Modifius Entertainment. We are playing the second edition of the game uh, that just came out at this past Gen Con. Um, and we're very excited uh, to be going through a second season of uh, the adventures of the crew uh, of the USS Zagreus. Uh, so if you want to see where this crew came from, go back to our first season. If you want to see, if this is your first episode, we recommend going back two episodes to see where this story begins. Um, but we want to thank you for joining us uh, as we play uh, some optimistic science fiction uh, here on Theater of the Mind Players. So... Let's have everybody go around, uh, introduce who they are, uh, what character they're playing, and what role they serve on the ship. And let's start with our first mind player. Hi, my name is Sarah Babe, she, they, and I am playing Captain Kashatal of the USS Zagreus, and I am a trill. Let's move on to our next mind player. Hi there, everyone. My name is Jordan Fishburne, she, her, and I am playing Lieutenant Commander Thing, the Klingon Chief of Security. Let's move on to our next mind. Hello, my name is Ethan Eichstead Anderson, he, him, and I am playing Gulak, the Lieutenant J.G. Transporter Chief. And last but not least, our final mind player. Hi, I'm Tawny P. Thompson, she, hers, and I am playing Tira C. Doc, the Lieutenant uh, Flight Controller, and I am an Orion. So, uh, when we last left our crew, they had discovered a few things about uh, the situation uh, on the planet uh, Raikyu. Uh, the giant uh, monster, I'm sorry, megafauna, sorry, Ensign Parker, um, uh, that had attacked the city of Kochi uh, was potentially lured there by some sort of device that uh, basically put out uh, a, a sound or a vibe that there was a a baby version of the megafauna there. Our flight controller uh, had discovered that there uh, was a uh, smuggler ship that, that blew out of town moments before the attack uh, and that uh, they have a um, pre-existing relationship with that particular captain. And then uh, our uh, chief of security had discovered some uh, shifty backwoods, well, back wreckage meetings uh, between uh, the commander of the settlement's military forces and one of his soldiers and uh, nearly uh, took a uh, energy blast to the face um, by uh, uh, revealing herself to the, uh, the clandestine meeting. So I'm going to assume that uh, we are back on the Zagreus and you two have already... Uh, is there anything that you're holding back from the briefing that you're giving to the captain? Or is, are we just going to go, and then, and I told them everything that happened last episode. Yeah, I think, I think, yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, I'll be completely clear as well. Okay. I was mostly pretty cool during that, so I don't. Need to <laughs> I do <laughs> think, and I think I do disclose the, the previous relationship shenanigans. Okay. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> the captain's one. Too. Is there? Is there? Right, like, so, on. is there anyone else in the in this briefing here with you? On? Uh, back in the ready room. Probably bring in Gunny, bring in Ensign, Soft Boy. I'm sorry, Parker, and Commander. What's this fuck? I mean, Zachary. Zachary. Um, Gunny. Yeah, bring in Gunny mainly because I want to see how C Duck and him react. Also, you and Marky Mark. <laughs> also, the Funky Bunch. <laughs> No. Okay. Man. Right, leave the funky bunch out of it. <laughs> They're going to be mad. Zachary uh, kicks it off and says, well, Captain, I th I think we need to track down uh, this uh, Talibian Captain Parfa, Parfa and put him under Starfleet protection. Sounds good to me. Can I leave that task to you? Well, you, you can, sir, but we're not going to want to go there wearing our uh, Federation regs here. Yeah, no, he won't like that. It's um not a good vibe. Mm, he's a vibe pilot. I he gotcha. Is. He is. Well, um, from what I understand, uh, I mean, the, the shaft is a black market. There's... We're not welcome there. Like... Oh my gosh, what are you talking about? Do you I'm just saying, we, if you happen to have a, a beat up old freighter lying around, that's probably what we should use. Could we borrow one from I go, the city? I can see where my parents are at. <clears throat> oh, I got an uncle. Trust me, I've done this before. <laughs> Captain, do we think that the device might have been moved to Recon Shaft or. No. Uh, if the device was moved, I don't believe the megafauna, right? Megafauna? Okay. Uh, the megafauna would still be attacking if the device is moved. When you say megafauna, uh, you see Ensign Parker, like, smile, like. <laughs> I smile back. I converted it another one. <laughs> <laughs> I just, just keep thinking of moose. I, I feel like he's got big Boimler energy. Like, I really... <laughs> yes. <Yeah>. 100. <laughs> I am encouraging that. Because I love it. <laughs> love, 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 love. Like, maybe not as neurotic, but he's definitely that, like, mm -hmm. you know... What are we going to do about the commander? Hmm. I do think, uh, with the data that we've uncovered so far... Commander Vitovia is going to assign the duty of taking out Captain Perfa? Perfa to one of his underlings. Oh my goodness. Gulak, can we get a lock on Commander Perfa? No. Zatobia. Beam him up to the brig and question him. I don't see why not. That's not going to cause a problem with the governor, sir? The governor doesn't. We could smooth that over. We could. Mm. The governor seemed a little more um, inclined to go along with the um, cautious, you know, Captain, this whole thing started because there are a group of Saurians who uh, dislike Federation meddling in their affairs. If you're going to black bag uh, the leader of their armed forces uh, to question him, don't you think that that's going uh, to cause that rift to get a little bigger? You're right. We should do it planet side. Who wants to come with me? I volunteer. Do you want me to try and get a hold of Perfa? Please, that would be wonderful. And he's like, and you're flying this solo? I don't get to go on the cool undercover mission? I have to stay here and, and mother the ship again? I mean, you know, uh, 
yeah, Gunny should come. You're right. Sea Doc, you stay here and watch a ship. Gunny, you take lead on this one. Yes, Captain. <coughs> okay. <laughs> this is me wanting to see how the fuck this goes. <laughs> this is me going, ha 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 ha. Literally, what's better? Your boyfriend knowing that you're going to a secret meeting with your ex boyfriend, or you knowing that your boyfriend's going to a secret meeting with your ex boyfriend? I mean, the difference is. <laughs> I know what I might be getting into. He's, I mean, I could give him some info, but he, Perfa doesn't know him. That's true. <laughs> but also Perfa doesn't know him. Yeah. Also, we can't guarantee what Perfa would do to you. Not my biggest fan, but like, vibes. Just saying. Okay. <laughs> Kulak, go with him. No way. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Cut to. So you're, so the two of you are going down to talk to, uh, the, the commander. Mm -hmm. Talk to well, the commander. Whatever. No, talk to the commander, yeah. Um, you're going on a very exciting undercover mission. Yep, we're going to check out the shaft. <laughs> um, what are you doing? I guess I'm flying the ship and feeding them information. So where did you? So you're you're grabbing a ship from, uh, just asking them to borrow a ship from the, the from the Saurians. Um, so with my I holodeck pro programming. Follow me on this one. Um, <laughs> she takes the soccer ball, <laughs> punctures it with the onk. <laughs> no, I was going to say puts it on top of a motorcycle. <sighs> one of our shuttles has holodeck pro programming on it so we can disguise it as what we need it to be will it stand up to any it's hard light dude perusal? it's hard light dude okay that's why you can interact with holodeck things okay so the hard light's gonna go <laughs> into the shaft <laughs> you know, we're adults <laughs> I, I I I knew it. I, I I named it that. And I'm like, we'll make like two, three jokes. No, it's five like, to seven. It's five five to seven. Seven to nine. If you're ask, <laughs> if you're asking the guy. Hey, um, <laughs> I'm realizing this is probably not like the ideal situation, but you know what? It sounds like the most fun. I'm wondering who is going to potentially. I guess we could just just destroy whatever sonic thing they have. Mm -hmm. We don't necessarily need somebody to turn it off. <laughs> it's not okay. going to be a giant egg. No. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a sonic disruptor. I feel like Network. this is an opportunity for you to have a, a scene with um, an NPC to maybe kind of vent to them about, like, I should be on that mission. Yeah. Who, who do you go to to have that scene with? Do you want to talk to Marx? <laughs> <laughs> no, I hate that. <laughs> I should be um, on that mission. I totally understand what you mean. <laughs> I totally get it. Or, or, or does he come to you it. because Gulak is on the mission and is like, God. that fucking dick. Am I right? I don't know how I would... <laughs> Let's well, no, no. Well, let's you don't have go. to. You don't have no, to. No, no, no. I, I, I would, I would rather have a like. I would rather have a scene that you have a, a comfortable interaction rather than just. I mean, a part of me was thinking Captain Zachary because. Okay. You chill. You had a good conversation with Zachary too. Who the hell are you going to talk Commander. with? Commander. Commander Zachary. Captain Zachary. Yes. <laughs> After we all die. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's right. But you've had good interactions with Zachary yeah. before, too. Right. He, right. Okay. I like that. I like that. He knows what's up. Yeah. Sometimes. <laughs> what do we want to resolve first? I think we want to resolve our scene. Have fun. So you have shifted over into, like, you know, that like federation disguise leather like you know like a leather jacket and like a turtleneck and tactical turtleneck and 
I, I feel I feel like Gunny like a beat poet. I feel like Gunny has like a like a like a definite like Sterling Archer vibe going into this. Like he's he's got like the turtleneck and like the, the thing and like a uh you know like a phaser in his pocket. Straps everywhere. And, and he's <laughs> is that an ocelot? We see the uh the ship as it kind of goes woo 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 and it it goes from a, a uh, shuttlecraft to like a you know beat up dingy freighter on the outside, but on the inside because we don't want to pay for a different set. Um, <laughs> it's still a, a um, that that's how you got the uh, the the extra actors that earlier scene was. Mm-hmm. You were like, no, no, we don't have to build a, a ship set. It's just or repurpose the bird of prey set that we've been using for thirty years. So Gunny's like, okay, so uh, so tell me about your your your, your character. Uh, you see, my name is Gully. I'm the kid of two smugglers. But isn't that just you? Oh, you mean like we're making characters? W- yeah, we're, we're we're going undercover to to As to... smugglers. Yeah. Wouldn't it be better to use real ones? Well, but aren't they going to know if you're if you're playing as if your character is you? Aren't people going to know that you're a Starfleet officer? I don't know what my parents tell. <laughs> it probably is it that their kid works for Starfleet. <laughs> yeah, they're embarrassed. Arguably, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's out there. He's a dancer now. He, he went and studied uh, <laughs> modern jazz and tap. And so, you know, <laughs> no, uh, that's Gully. <laughs> Straight up pull a little Luther from season four of Umbrella Academy. Modern jazz and tap. And don't forget Paluvia. I mean, I'm just he's telling the, you what my parents the, probably tell the, people. He's the best chicane instructor in the Alpha Quadrant. <laughs> We always thought he would be a smuggler, but there he no, is. No, the he loved the jazz. <laughs> Fussy. <laughs> <laughs> Space hands. <laughs> See, it's already a whole lot of water. <laughs> I feel like I feel like there's now we I feel, I feel like we're setting up the scene where they get captured and the and the Dance mob boss is, is like smuggler boy. Yeah, like. <laughs> I heard you're into Martha Graham. <laughs> anyway, if, if you want to do the whole character thing, get get well, throw one out there. I'll. Uh, uh, um. Well, oh, well, but you 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 grew up in this, right? Like this is your. This is where you. So maybe you should just do the talking. Sure. <laughs> so why did you decide to join Starfleet? Is this an interrogation now? Like we got we've got an hour until we get to this place. I thought it we should probably get to know each other. I mean, we can fly in silence. That's fine. Can we? <laughs> where is it? Where is the? Where is the Starship Uber selection for? Do not talk. God. All right. I guess. Okay. So we're doing characters. Since I can't be Gully, maybe I'll just change up a bit so I don't forget. And I'll be like. Sully. Sully. <laughs> okay. Okay, Sully. <laughs> Are you gonna be Jenny? <laughs> oh, he's gonna be Sonny. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I think that the button is him going, I guess that means I'll be Sonny. <laughs> As we cut back to the, the, the shuttlecraft. <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> so we cut to the farm simulation, where um, 
Zachary is is uh, planting some flowers. I, I think maybe garden simulation is a better way to put it. So you know we got the tweet tweet chirp chirp chirp, Lights um, and, and then we hear like Whoa! as the holodeck door opens, and you know. Whoa! You here to do some work? I think I silently put on a pair of gardening gloves and just start pulling weeds. Uh, and we get the vibe that I do this a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, maybe instead of you want to do some work, he just hands you the, the, gardening, the gardening gloves. You've gotten a lot better at that since you f first started. What can I say? The dandelions run in fear now. <laughs> they do. You know, I actually had to uh, increase the uh, amount of dandelions in the program because you got so good at pulling them. Just eradicated the entire... <laughs> Shenanigan. <clears throat> well, I knew how it made you feel. So I increased it so that you had to do it a little more. Because I know that it let you get, get out a lot of this tension and aggression that you feel. I don't think aggression is maybe... Yeah, okay, fine. <sighs> you know I should be on that mission. Gully is not much of a talker, and Gunny is, um, well, he's working on it. I, I find it interesting that, that you're mad about it. I'm not mad. I'm <laughs> it's... frustrated. Well, I mean, when you first, when I, when I first met you, Anytime uh, someone suggested that you go on a mission or do something extra or uh, you would get real mad because all you wanted to do was... Well, okay. Originally, the original plan, I was going to serve out my time. I was going to do the thing and then I was going to be done. But I'm maybe less than bad at it. All of it. The... Starfleet things. The stuff. Or whatever. I don't think it's maybe. I think you're very good at it. So I'm trying to be more, um, uh, open to the captain's suggestions <laughs> uh, and orders. There it is. Captain doesn't make suggestions. Mm, sometimes she does. You might, you might think that they're suggestions because you think you are correct. But they're not. Because if you want to do this thing that you are good at, you've got to learn that even if you disagree with the captain... Exhibit A. They went and I said nothing. And it's going to go... So great. For I, have, I have to admit, I'm impressed by the fact that you made it all the way to the holodeck before you started talking about this. That is potentially a new record. And I will note that in, in my log. <laughs> note it down. Stardate. 57.31.26.29. Have you also considered, I'm just throwing this out there, <clears throat> Maybe Gunny is also good at his job. Gunny is good at the flying. Not as good as I am. But he's good. But not as good as I am. But the talking. So why does it matter? It matters because the captain is putting him and Gully no, 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 in no, a no. dangerous situation. So you're worried about him? <laughs> Maybe a little. And I could be there to, like, 
make it safer. But instead, here I am. Because you're worried about it. Eradicating the dandelions. It's okay to care about your, your fellow crew members, C-Doc. Exactly. So that's all I'm doing. Is I'm caring. A little bit. Or something. I think he actually is wearing, like, <laughs> like cheaters mm -hmm. when, when he does this. Well, I'm just happy to know that you care about something. I feel like that that is a little bit of growth that I don't think anybody was expecting. Maybe I wasn't expecting it either. You weren't. I could tell you that straight up. But that's a part of Starfleet that a lot of people don't understand. It's about learning to care about other people, other, and not just people in the sense of humans, but other beings. And that's why we do what we do, because we want this, this place, this galaxy, to be better. But ain't and that maybe the problem? Everyone out there is living on the edge, trying to just get by. And Starfleet does what it can, but, like, it doesn't change it for most people, most beings. You got to live on the edge. It is the, what it is. But you got to look out for your family, your people, you. He pulls out a pad. That's what I thought. Uh, 132. years that you've been in Starfleet? <laughs> I'd be an admiral by now. Fair. That's how many people that we beamed aboard this ship. That's how many people whose lives that we affected for the better. And while it may not be a galaxy-spanning treaty or or Stopping a Borg invasion. That's 132 lives that we have made better. And that's not nothing. Suppose now, let me show you how I plant perennials. Because they don't do it like this anymore. Who are those cinias? You've been studying. <laughs> Cut to... <laughs> I love the secret <laughs> warmth that you only have for him. I love it so much. Like he he is he is the one guy that you're like oh. Okay, I'll I'll, I'll show you this little, little, little tiny heart. I've always tried to portray him with very like Morgan Freeman vibes and yeah, that's that that's good. what I cuz I feel like that's the kind of person that you would want as your as your backup, the guy who is like, okay, let's talk about your options here. Like, anyway. I've been thinking like Morgan Freeman, Michael Caine. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <clears throat> um, so we cut to, where do you decide to meet the general? In his office. Okay. Commander, not general. Right, sorry. Could I have taken like a vid of their meeting? Or set your communicator to record? Yeah, because I realized I didn't do it at the time, but now I'm like thinking like leverage wise, what would be a good opener for the captain to kind of spring? So I'll give you a choice. <laughs> Either. I, mean, I have an opener. Can open. You can, oh. you can take, you can give me two threat. <laughs> And we can retroactively say that you did, in fact, uh, record him. Or you can roll and bluff. Ooh. How's your talkie-talkie bits? It's not great. 
I mean, it's it could be worse, <laughs> but not too much. Do worse. you want me to help you? Um, maybe. Yeah. I mean, like, me... or or worst case scenario, I could just do it. Yeah. Cause uh, I got fucking diplomacy and shit. What's the bluff roll? Um, probably presence and command here. A ten. Oh, honey. Yeah. Well, that's only two threat. See how much Rob had to use earlier, and it was yeah. Really but anything. but, honey, I'm working with a fifteen. Yeah, you should do. I'm it. Just with assist 15. with intimidation. I that was my plan. <laughs> This is with intimidation. Yeah. After handing her a vid, but if she's got the bluff in hand, okay. It's two threat though. They were pretty. Three dude. Enter. And he stands up uh, and he bows uh, to you and to you as as is the way. I'll return the favor. To what do I owe uh, the honor of your presence, Captain? Commander, or is there a different way I should address you since you're the leader of the Lonely Path Collective? That is a startling accusation for you to make. Startling or accurate? Why would I endanger the settlement that I have sworn to protect? Because you thought you could defeat defeat the I'm sorry, the megafauna. And what purpose would that serve? Prove that you had the decisive measures and also the power to be the leader of this particular settlement, nay the planet. To stand alone without the Federation. Is this a theory that you have based on observation or evidence? Evidence. You didn't think that you were alone speaking with the lieutenant. Why, you took a shot at me, didn't you? Or she did? <laughs> Sorry, Jordan, that was super cold-blooded. I loved it. Cold-blooded. <laughs> um, all right. Let's make this roll here. Uh, give me a command plus uh, presence roll. I'm going to say this is a difficulty three roll here. Okay, I will bring in my diplomacy for Mustuf. Um, and also, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going I'm to bring in my... Termination? What value are you using? Jordan's making some faces. I love to see that. Uh, trust me, I've done this before. Okay. Yeah, I believe that you you have intimidated the shit out of a. Okay, so you only roll one, because uh, that basically the determination die that is your second die, and you're just automatically setting it to one to okay. start. I did roll a success. <laughs> you rolled a what? A success. Okay. I was being a brat. Ooh! And under my command, so that is two. So that's a four total. Yeah. Oh, five okay. with hers. Yeah. Boom. Okay. Now. Do you want to bank this as momentum to uh, give Gully and Sunny, bank it, they're gonna or or do you want to use the 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 two extra successes to create uh, an advantage, like say, you know, the governor automatically believes you, or oh, um, or the advantage of we know where they where the captain is because I'm assuming they've been tracking him as well, or. Or the advantage of he'll tell of he'll tell you where the the device is. Sorry. How about location of the device and location of the captain? You know where are you talking about the the Talibian? Yeah, Talibian. You already are going to find him. Okay, so that's not a big deal. How about location and the governor support? One or the other. Because eh? cause you need to spend two of these to create one advantage. All right, fine. You or you can let it ride, and we can see how their situation resolves. And that, that way they have two momentum. I like getting the governor on our side, because then we can mobilize more forces maybe to find the disruptor. 
But at the same time, this is kind of where I'm a ninja, so I think I could convince the governor pretty easily. That's true. If it did come to that. It's just that it might be proving their point if we just go ham hog without. Yeah, let's let's get the governor in just in case. Okay. Don't fuck up. Oh, I will. <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing to say to you, Starfleet. And the the that's when And what about me, Commander? says the governor. Cut to <laughs> So we're on the hunt for the name I can never pronounce or say. Perfa. 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 Um, well, the Talibian, the Talibian stands out because he's got one of those glorious Star Trek wigs. Yeah, he does. That mm. is a mohawk here mm. that goes down and uh, uh, ends as shoulder length hair yeah, here. a mullet. Yes, a mullet. <laughs> a mullet. <laughs> <laughs> I love that hair, so go for him. Maybe he had a different haircut. It was my did. punk days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so so he is is in the corner and he's got like, you know, he's like, the next round is on me! And everyone is like, rah, 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 hrump, 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 hrump. Um, and uh, you and uh, Sonny walk in and Sonny puts his hand on on your chest. I put my hand over his hand. <laughs> <laughs> Look, and he points, and uh, you see a Saurian. Um, actually, three Saurians. I recognize her. She was on the commander's security detail. What's she doing here? Mm. I think she's having a drink. Like, are we supposed to be worried about it? I, don't you, know, I wasn't on the ground crew before. I don't know the vibes. Were you not paying attention during the briefing? That you were there for? That you were there for? That were you were were we accepted this mission? Oh yeah, but like, is everyone in on it? Well, I don't know, but it sure seems suspicious that somebody connected to the general that took a shot at uh, Fang is is here. Your body. Okay. So, they don't know what we look like, or that our real names are Gully and Gunny. So we should try to. Make are you changing the names now? We we went over this on the, on the shuttle right over. Well, yeah, yeah, we 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 can we can go with that. So we should we try to sneak out? But we've got to protect him. Yeah, like with him. Okay, how do we get him out of here? Well, we create a distraction. And then we sneak out. So we just grab him? Yeah. Okay, are you the distraction or are you the grabber? I will be the distraction. Okay. I'll wait for your signal. So what's your distraction? I'm going to go up to the table and introduce myself. To her table or to, to the... Her table. Okay. The table of the guard. The okay. Security. Yeah. Okay. Hi. <laughs> My name is Sully. Do you, do you want to, like, smuggle together? <laughs> Oh my god. I'm gonna spend two threat. Oh. Yeah, I would too. <laughs> They're gonna die. And she That's smiles. And says, You look like you'd be a lot of fun to smuggle with. I come from a long line of smugglers. <laughs> But I know who you are, Lieutenant. And she puts her uh, uh, energy weapon on the table, pointed at you. If you know who I am, then you know my family.
As I said, I come from a long line of smugglers. What's the signal that, that uh, Sonny is waiting for to, to grab the captain? Uh, I believe when I punch her in the face. <laughs> nice. Subtle. All right, so you come from a long line of smugglers. I have things I want to get out of Starfleet. That's why I'm in it. Like what? Not because I'm bad at smuggling. <laughs> So you want to cut a deal? Well, yeah. I don't think this is the area to, like, talk about it, though. It's very public. I don't know. I think I have the advantage here. And she, she holds up her, her gun. Do you? I might have this whole place surrounded. Unlikely. If they were really concerned, they would have sent the Klingon. Well, yeah, that's because they don't know. What don't they know? That I'm here. I'm smuggling out of Starfleet. Oh, what are you smuggling out of? So then what do I have to do with it? Well, I can't be seen doing it. I gotta drop it off to someone who then can fly it out. I'm not here to smuggle. Isn't this a smuggling hangout? Yes, but that's not why I'm here. Well, why are you here? Give me a... Who's on first roll? <laughs> daring plus uh, command here. With advantage. <laughs> no. uh, I'm going to say it's a target oh uh, three roll. Oh. Um, can I use my value of always go back for seconds? Why? I because I'm pushing further than I wanted to, <laughs> going back for a second helping of this that, bullshit. That 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 kind of that does make sense. Okay, you didn't go in for a second helping of bullshit when you could have not. <laughs> Daring in command. Yep. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa. Oh shit. So that's uh, a threefer. Okay. Damn. Nice. That was a one. No, it's seven. Okay. I'm very bad at presents, so I had to make this weird in order to actually not. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's like, I have no idea what you think you're trying to do here, but I assure you it's not, where did he go? <laughs> and you look, and the... the... <laughs> All right, fine. Now this is a ho hostage negotiation. Take me back to your ship. Would there be any way to smoke bomb teleport? <laughs> if you had someone on the ship ready to do that. Honestly, if you programmed it ahead of time, you could just da 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 and... But because I'm sure you wanted... don't have that done. I don't think he would have wanted you to throw leave Gunny, a beer though. in her face and then teleport. Well, Gunny's probably Sorian. already back at the shuttle. Oh, that's fair. Sorian Ale. <laughs> he did a good enough job. <laughs> yeah, Sorian Ale. In her face. There well, you go. But no, nah, she, she has a point. You could basically just be like, now Gunny, and then... <laughs> you can teleport into the... Shuttle. They have like a, shuttle. Have like a emergency oh. teleporter. Yeah, because if it's if it's a shuttle that has a holodeck screen, it very most likely has a freaking teleporter in it, even if it's just one pad. I mean, I feel like we're basically describing a runabout, right? Yes. Yeah. Agreed. One hundred. <laughs> Absolutely. As our Star Trek. I mean, expert. you know, yeah. As the Star Trek expert. <laughs> okay, so yes, we covered that so yeah. the viewers could yes. understand. Right. So here, so here's gonna be here's a fun roll. I'm gonna have you roll your um, daring plus engineering as your dodge roll <laughs> to basically hit the button before she blasts you. However, I'm also going to spend three of my four remaining threat. <laughs> To give her two extra dice to try and zap you. Is she doing a stun or? Why would she have phaser such a stun? Because <laughs> she's, she's there talking to kill about holding me hostage. Yeah, oh, that's okay, true. Fair. 
Good call. Way to pay attention he's, to what Rob says. Either. He's out of he's out of line, but he's right. Because yeah. <laughs> in theory, she would also probably want to stun. Uh, Perva. Per- Perfa to get him to a better location where she can murder him at, at her leisure as yeah. opposed to a shootout in the middle of a bar. Even even a, even a black market bar. Yeah, a dive bar like this. They're going to be like, hey, we got to clean that. You know? <laughs> uh, she's going to shoot patrol security. I think that's probably pretty good for her. Um, we're going to say she has a 13 in it. <clears throat> So this is an opposed task. It's these f- effing extra dice are like beep, boop, boop, boop. It's that when you... you what'd you, what'd that? you roll? Uh, two successes. Well, that beats my one. And I also have a plus one stun resistance. Nice. Okay. Yeah. So I be sturdy. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you basically see like... You hit your badge. And the 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 phaser blast goes through the your uh, dematerializing form as you then uh, manifest in the um, uh, in the transporter back on the uh, the ship. Gunny is there, and uh, Perfa is there, and they like everybody kind of has a moment. And Gunny's like, "We should go, shouldn't we?" Fly fools. <laughs> <laughs> Cut to as my grandpa. Yep. <laughs> um, I think I think we, this is the triumphant orbit scene. Basically, uh, Perfa has agreed to testify and uh, how to destroy and reverse the device to that calls the the megafauna. Actually, let's have Governor Exposition deal with that. So. She, the 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 doors to the transporter room open up, and she's walking with you, and and says and is thanking you for uh, for everything that you've done. It's going to t- take us a little time to find out what other members, uh, who the other members of the collective are, but this is a good first step because we don't have to worry about um, innocents being hurt by uh, their actions. And that's really what we wanted to make sure. Thank you for all of your help, Captain. Of course. Um, I, I do have to apologize. I was very close to just putting a phaser to that man's head. <laughs> no one comes from my crew. Truth be, to- truth be told, uh, Captain, that is not an unfamiliar feeling to me. It's not the way, though. It is not. And she gets up on the, the pad, uh, beams out. Uh, we cut to... So I'm you beam around just to you know to round out your thing. We cut back to the bridge as you as the you come on uh, the bridge. Course captain says Gunny. Second star to the right, straight on till morning. Deet, 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 deet. Good are, job, everyone today. Are we just leaving the big guy down there? Yeah, they've got it taken care of. Paddles to the metal, Commander. <laughs> hey, um, so. Uh, after the we get off first shift, you guys want to play darts? If you're ready to lose again. Hey. You stole I, my line, Fang. <laughs> I have some of the best stuff to wager with this time, though. You pick something up on the black market planet? Uh, yeah. I had a couple drinks with Perfa. You guys, you guys want to see some pictures of of Sea uh, Doc during her punk phase? No, Captain. Permission for early leave. No. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. And this, of course, is happening as the ship is is heading out of orbit. <laughs> she looks. Show them that. <laughs> you look cute, though. Honey. No. You really do. No. I didn't know your hair could spike like that. It can't. Both of you, shut up and fly the ship. <laughs> and that's where we end. <laughs> Thank you all for uh, joining us for our second uh, adventure uh, here on Star Trek Adventures. Um, we, we, as you can tell, we love this game. It's, it's, it's a lot of fun. We get to do drama and comedy and and everything Both together. At the same time. Um, sometimes at the same time. Um, 
And I, I'm very happy to see our crew just embrace Star Trek in general. Like, um, I'm, I'm, what I've really enjoyed from our stories this year is showing off genres and games that I really enjoy and imparting that into the other players. Because sometimes that can be difficult when you're like, I'm not really not that into this thing. But with the right players, you can make it work. So, uh, and I'm very lucky to have the right players. So, uh, from all of us here at Theater of the Mind Players, we are... Tawny P. Thompson. Ethan Ixon Anderson. Jordan Fishburne. Sarah Babe. <laughs> and as always, our love of the board. Brad Davies. Space From hands. Space hands. All of Space us hands. here at Theater of the Mind Players, this is Rob Whelan saying, just repeat to yourself, it's only a game. I should really just relax. <laughs> Ethan was the talky one. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, fellow human. You've reached the end of an exciting episode of Theater of the Mind Players. If you enjoyed our story, please like the video. If you want more games, subscribe to our channel. Attack the bell for notifications on new posts. If you liked the episode, please tell us what you enjoyed the most in the comments. If you loved the episode, consider joining our Patreon. You'll get access to special shows, session zeros, and help us determine what we play on the show. We love our friends of Pat Rayon, and we hope to see you there. <laughs>